Today we're going to be doing a quick video on how a woman's wetsuit should be fitting you. As you can see here, this is a perfect suit fitted for test. So this is the O'Neill Hyper Freak. So usually with the size guides, O'Neill are quite direct. Rip curl comes up a little bit smaller and sea skins comes up a little bit wider usually. So as you can see here, what we're looking for on a perfect fitted wetsuit is no air gaps or creases. Obviously if you've got air gaps and creases in your wetsuit, it's gonna fill up with water and that's gonna be a cold wetsuit for you. So obviously the length as well, so it's perfectly cut off just before the feet and on the arms, perfectly cut off just before the hands. Obviously a wetsuit can be a little bit too tight for you. If it's too tight and it's too restrictive, then you wanna go for a size okay. above. Obviously, like I said, if it's got air gaps and creases throughout the suit, then you wanna go for the size below. Um, it's really about what suit fits you. So if you're quite broad, maybe a sea skins. If you're quite narrow and slim, maybe a rip curl. Or if you wanna go O'Neill, like I say, they're pretty direct with their sizing. Um, a perfect wetsuit fit is basically looking like it's been sprayed on. So like I've got a spray paint and just sprayed it all on. So it fits perfect like that. Give us a little swirl around. No air gaps, no creases throughout the suit. And that's gonna mean that the water in you is gonna be a small amount. So it's gonna be a quick time for it to warm up. Otherwise, if it is too big, you're gonna have more water in there and it's gonna take longer to warm up. So yeah, that is the woman's video on how a woman's wetsuit should be fitting you guys. Thank you.